Welcome back guys, Angel of the Night 091 here coming at you with battle number 28 from the International Challenge of April. Uh, battle number 28, like I said, uh, 1497 is our current rating. Now, our last opponent did DC. I was actually talking to you guys about some techie stuff, so I don't know how techie I can really get here with these right at the moment, now that I think about it, but we've got a lot of, a lot of techie stuff here. Um, but yeah, anyway. I guess I could I guess I could show you guys this this is something that has started my Pokemon adventure I'll show you guys here once we get our team selected um, Garchomp, Torkoal, Orangaroo, Hariyama, Porygon, Z so I don't want Scizor at the moment I think my best bet would probably be the Arcanine let's go Arcanine, Milotic Garchomp, Alakazam. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys something. So, this is how I originally started playing the game here. So, here it is, guys. The original Game Boy Color that started off my Pokemon adventure. You guys can see some of the craziness that's in the background here. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's that's the original Game Boy Color that I have. And uh, the game has started. You can see how worn out it is. I've played it so much. But uh, yeah, look at that. It's all worn out, eh? Then I also have this one. Now, this is my sister's. My sister's Pokemon Blue. Just can't seem to part with them, you know? I have them sitting here on the desk. Just, I found them the other day, and I was gonna find batteries, but I don't have anything that has double batteries anymore. <laughs> so I can't really use them. But that's, those are the games that started off this whole adventure for me. What games did you guys start when you guys were beginning the Pokemon series? Did you guys start off with, you know, did you guys start off with Red and Blue? Or did you guys start off with a different game? Just curious. All right, so we are up against Torkoal and Porygon 2. Let's go for the Flare Blitz on Porygon 2. We want to get that one taken out. And I'm actually going to confuse Ray the Torkoal. And the reason being is that if I try to go for the Scald right now, it's not really going to work uh, because of the sun. So. so other than that, um, we were talking the other day about my Pokemon Heart Gold uh, LP that I want to do. As you can see, I've got my two Pokewalkers from Heart Gold and Soul Silver here, and uh, I actually have Pokemon still on them. Isn't that insane? Of course, I had to replace the batteries in them recently, but I still have them. All right, let's go for another Flare Blitz, and I am gonna go for the Skull this time onto the Torkoal. So yeah, I have these uh, Pokewalkers, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to use them for that LP if I do decide to start it. Of course. So I'm really hoping, really hoping I get the chance to do that. Uh, I also did, however, also find... Oh, you guys can see the top part of my laptop screen. Um, I did find... Oops, heart Gold and Soul Silver as well. So if you guys uh, want to see that LP, post your comments. Because I would love to be able to go over this with you guys and just chill and, you know, play an LP. Of course, it wouldn't be a catch em all because... I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I have the attention span for a catch em all right at the moment, but definitely something I'm considering. Okay, so we're gonna do the same things again. We're gonna go for the uh, Flare Blitz and the Skull. down. Now we don't have to worry about Torkoal at this point. Uh, hopefully the Flare Blitz will do some serious damage to the Torkoal too. There it is. <laughs> I'm probably the only one that actually keeps them in their case. Um, what else? 
go bring up Garchomp here. Oh, and I also... <laughs> so that way I can do Pokemon Go on the go. <laughs> it's funny how they went from this to this. It's pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. And yeah, I just have this stuff randomly sitting around, guys. I apologize. Right. <clears throat> I'm looking for things to talk about. I'm ready to get to things to talk about. I don't want to bore you guys. I really don't. <laughs> Tie pin. Oh, uh, you guys can't see him. It's Yoda. Uh, you can't really see him. He's green. Alright, the fake out. Of course, the Rocky Helmet and the uh, Rough Skin is definitely going to hurt. The Psychic coming from the Oranguru. Not too concerned about Oranguru right now. One of my favorite pins. That should definitely go on the tie, right? When I'm at work, should wear this. As, yeah. Instead of this little... I won't show you guys what that is. I'm sure you guys have seen this on uh, places like eBay and stuff like that. It's really neat. Okay, let's get this Orangaroo out of here. Let's go for the Scald onto the Hariyama. Um, I do have some other pins, of course. I'm a huge Halo fan, as you guys can see. Pretty neat. Got a bunch of little things. I just don't have a good place to like actually like save everything and store everything. As you can see, um, <laughs> there we are. Got the room here. Don't mind the junk in the back. Just a little bit of sh shot from behind here, just to show you guys what it's actually like in here when I'm actually recording. So here's the big green screen. Got the lights and everything. It's all pretty, pretty sweet actually. Um, it's not really a proper recording room either. It's just kind of like a room just to chill. Uh, it's actually a bar behind here. If I actually move the green screen, you could see the bar. Which is kind of nice. So apparently my opponent has uh, forfeited here, which is okay. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, I know I kind of went all over the place just trying to come up with ideas and things to talk about. Um, you know, you guys know what to do. Post your comments. Um, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, uh, take care, have a good one, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.